Hi everyone, Brian here with Practical Prep TX and I wanted to make a video on EMP Shield. Um, I have had an issue with lightning strikes over here, especially on my internet, my low voltage equipment, which I have a pretty, uh, uh, pretty interesting system connecting multiple houses uh, on my homestead here. And I finally just decided I needed, I needed a solution. After two lightning strikes destroying literally over $500 in equipment each time, I needed a solution, so I found EMP Shield, which it's obviously it's advertised as it helps to protect your home from an EMP, which, I mean, I'm sure it does. There's no reason not to trust these guys. They've got all the statistics and stats of testing on their website. They also work with the U.S. government, um, helping to EMP protect their equipment. They also work with grid operators around the country as well here in the U.S. to help them protect their grid equipment as well. So, um They've got a good resume, at least on that side of things. So I decided to go ahead and give it a shot. And these things run between about, I don't know, $299 to $399 each. And uh, one of these EMP shields that I'm going to show you here in my panel can protect my whole house uh, from a lightning strike. Or God forbid an EMP uh, go off now. I mean, that seemed pretty far-fetched a while ago, but good grief. Now with this Russia about to go to World War III, with them, we've got China floating balloons over that could potentially detonate an EMP. Now, I don't know if that's what's going to happen. I mean, I doubt it, but hey, we're protected just in case. Um, but it can't be ruled out, that's for sure, as crazy as the world is. But with the way these elites are, um, most likely they just want to do a slow, uh, kind of boiling the frog, right? They just keep heating the water up. There's not going to be complete shortages overnight or complete complete grid outages overnight. What's more likely to happen is just a slow, the grid just degrades and um, they just, you know, move us all into sheep or cattle. Um, but that's a whole nother video. So uh, let's go on with this, uh, with the EMP shield here. So I'm going to turn this uh, camera around and show you exactly what I did and how easy it is to install. Now, um, disclosure, I do have some electrical experience and I do have access to my father-in-law who is or was an electrician for over 30 years. So, um, Electricity can kill you, especially 240 volts inside a home panel like this. So if you do not know what you're doing, don't do it. Hire an electrician. It's literally 15 minutes of work on there and it won't cost that much to have them do it. That being said, it is easy if you do have a little bit of electrical experience and you can shut your panel down. You know it's dead. You know how to test it to make sure there's no electricity there. So, um, all right, let's get into what I did here. All right, so we're looking at my electrical home panel here in my house. And as you can see, I've got EMP shield installed right here. Now there's double-sided tape on the back of this, uh, so you can stick it inside there um, on the wall. And then literally all you do is you run three, well, let's see, four wires. So there's a neutral, there's a white wire here that goes up all the way to my neutral bar. You can see back there. And you'll see the green, there's a green ground wire. And that runs right into, kind of you can kind of see it back there, uh, the ground lug. And then there's a a uh, black and a red wire. Those are the two hot wires and those go up literally and install right here into this breaker. So you get the black and the red and literally that is it. So now if an EMP or I get a surge, lightning strike or any type of you know, solar flare it also covers. If I get any of that, this thing within one, let's see, I think it's like within a, a billionth of a second will grab that, uh, that over voltage, over current and send it right through here and it dissipates that or sends it right to my ground. So um, protecting my whole house and anything connected to it from that EMP or that lightning strike or what have you. So that's why I have this thing. Um, and I do recommend if you want to protect yourself against lightning strikes and God forbid an EMP shield, go ahead and put this on there. Uh, it's very easy to do. And after you get it installed there, there's this little low voltage line that you can see comes out right here and it mounts right on the outside of your panel. And if you have these two LEDs lit up green, um, then you're good to go. And literally, that's how easy it is. And now I'm protected. And if it does have a lightning strike and it gets destroyed, um, they do have uh, uh, some sort of program. I believe it's really only charge you $50 to replace it if it gets struck by lightning. Because the lightning, it will basically uh, die a hero and protect your panel. But I think it will actually uh, break the device. But an EMP, it's rated for multiple EMPs. So an EMP, if that went off, it should be just fine. Um, they also have an awesome warranty. It's a 14-day, no question to ask warranty, and also um, a $25,000 insurance policy as well. So if you get struck by lightning um, and something happens, it doesn't work, and there's things in your house that ended up breaking, 
um, you can literally go to them and say it didn't work. Now, I'm not sure how that works. I've never used it, but they do claim that on their website. Um, so that is how easy this thing is. Again, this is an electrical panel of 240 volts and 200 amps. So if I touch this thing the wrong way, it's sayonara from me. So be careful, use an electrician if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, some final thoughts on EMP Shield. Um, I am an affiliate, full disclosure of them. Once I got this product, I liked it that much. I decided to go ahead and sign up with them. And uh, because I'm an affiliate, I can offer you all a $50 discount uh, coupon code if you do go ahead and buy that. So uh, it's Off Grid Brian, O F F G R I D B R I A N. Use that at checkout and they will give you uh, $50 off your order. And I'm going to leave a link in the description on the exact uh, one I have. They have two for home panels. One if your panel is recessed in the wall like mine is. And they have one if your panel is kind of outside where you can actually just run a, uh, a conduit right through the side wall. Um, I'll list the one that I have uh, that is exactly what you would need if you have a recessed uh, panel like I do that's in the wall. And so that'll be in the description there. Click on that. And also, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to the channel. It's a brand new channel. That would help me out a lot. And I am going to be making more videos on what I am doing to become more and more self-reliant or less, less reliant on the existing system of energy, water, um, well, especially energy. You can see behind me, I'm in the process of doing an off-grid uh, solar system with the battery bank. That's the EG4 battery bank there. And there's the big Solarc, 15,000 kilowatts and a big 200 amp. Uh, service disconnect or fusible disconnect uh, to run my house through. So I'm doing that. Um, I'm also, I've got videos already posted on my dairy cow um, on how we raise a dairy cow in a little tiny plot of land, 30 by 30, um, a Jersey cow, uh, calf pair. So check those out as well. Also, I've got a bunch of stuff in the description here of the stuff that I am using. There are affiliate links, but I'm using them personally to help myself be less reliant on the traditional system. All right. Thanks everyone. Again, like, share and uh, subscribe to this channel. Appreciate it.